Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show how to download and install latest version of Citrix workspace on your computer. Okay, so very first thing, we can open Google Chrome or any other web browser. And in Google search, please type Citrix workspace for Windows 10 and hit enter. Okay. So I'm running Windows 10 on my machine. So I'm going to install this software on my computer. So you see the first option which says download workspace app for Windows current release. So click on it. So once you click on it, you see this on the screen Citrix workspace app 2.1.1.2.1 for Windows. So please click on it. It was released on December 17, 2021. So it was released a week ago. So I'm clicking on this. Okay, now it says Citrix Workspace app 2.1.1.2.1 for Windows compatible with Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Thin PC as well as Windows Server 2019, 2016, 2012, 2012 R2. So you can download this software for all these operating systems. So at any point in time, if you're using Mac operating system, then you need to look for this software for Mac OS. Okay, so I'm going to click download Citrix workspace app for Windows. Okay, it is going to download the software. It is uh, 211 MB. So it's going to take a couple of minutes. So please bear with me. So it's always good to download and install the latest version of Citrix workspace to connect to the Citrix environment. But at any point in time, if you're working for some organization and if your organization has recommended some particular version like 1912 or something, then you can simply type Citrix workspace app 1912 for Windows to download it. It's almost there. All right. All right, it has been downloaded successfully. So this is the file. It's been downloaded. So I'm going to run this file now. Okay, so I'm going to right click on this. And I'm going to run it as administrator. Okay. So it is going to take a few seconds. So right now it is looking for prerequisites actually. It looks for whether all the uh, necessary software updates are available on this machine or not before it starts the installation. Yes, now it looked for the prerequisites. Now it is asking us to install the software. So you see this on the screen, it says welcome to Citrix workspace. All you have to do is click on start. Okay, now please accept the license agreement. Click on this checkbox, click next. Okay, now you see this enable this option to prevent screen captures of the app and to protect it from key logging malware. So you can, uh, yeah, click on this and click install. So you may have to follow the same steps if you're working on Mac operating system. Just download the software and run the software. So it is installing prerequisites. Okay, it says initializing now. So it is definitely doing something. This will take a couple of minutes, so please bear with me.
okay the installation has been completed successfully so it says uh, installation successful so you need not click on add account you can just click finish okay so once you click finish uh, what I would do is I would like to restart my machine it's always good to restart your computer after the software installation okay so I'm going to restart my machine right now you can also do it after installing this software okay so right now my machine is getting restarted So it says request timed out. It means that the machine is getting restarted now. So whenever you get the response, when it says reply from so and so IP address, it means that the communication is still happening fine. Now it says destination host unreachable. The machine is getting restarted. So in a few seconds, it should come back to reply from 192.164.2.4. So once we see this again, it means that the machine is communicating fine. The machine is up. So let's let's wait until the machine is up. Okay, if you see now, it says reply from 192.168.2.4 and it is replying now. We get, we're getting the ping response. Now the machine is up. Now we can connect to the machine and see how it goes. Okay, it is asking for the password. I'm going to type my password. So... Okay, it is running some updates. So restarting the machine is uh, really essential, really required after installing the software. All right, it seems like uh, the machine is uh, up now. Now let's go to programs and check whether the software is installed or not, okay? So I'm going to appvis.cpl. You can type in the search. It's appwiz.cpl and just open this. So it would show the list of programs that are installed on your computer. All right. Now it shows the list of programs that are installed on my computer. If you see here, you see Citrix Workspace 2.1.1.2 and it is installed on 23rd of December 2021 which was I mean like a few minutes ago we installed this successfully and it is also reflecting in the uh, programs. So what you can do is uh, you can open the web browser and you can connect to your Citrix environment. Maybe your organization must have given some uh, Citrix URL to you so you can just put that URL in the uh, in the address bar and once you put that it will uh, ask for the username and password of your organization you can put that and you will connect to the Citrix environment and you can click on the applications to access those uh, virtual desktops or applications all right uh, I hope you find this information helpful you can also see Citrix uh, workspace here on the bottom right hand side 
okay so you can check for updates at any point in time if you want to look for the latest updates you can just right click on this and click on check for updates and if there is any latest software available it will download and it will install it automatically all right so i hope you find this information helpful if you like this video please like and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll catch you soon bye bye